In this brief video, I'm gonna show you how to create a human skin shader using Arnold for Cinema 4D. Hey folks, welcome to Mogra Plus. This video is a free sample from our course, The Ultimate Introduction to Arnold 6 for Cinema 4D. It's a massive 12 hours course in which we explore all the aspects of Arnold for Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to check it out, the link is in the description. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this lesson, we have this 3D scan of a head, which is a free 3D scan from 1024.info, an Arnold sky with an HDR image that is being applied to it. And if I open up this HDR image, you notice we have five different HDRIs that give us different lightings, and we can switch between them to see if the shader holds up in different lighting scenarios or not. This 3D scans comes with a few textures that will be used in the process and you can find them in this head folder in the text folder of the project files. Now let's open up the standard surface shader that is assigned to the geometry. First, let's add an image node and load this head color texture. As this is going to be used for both the base color and SSS color, let's change its color space to utility sRGB texture. We are in ACES connect it to the base color and set the base weight to 1. For now, zero out the specular weight just to see what we are doing. A skin shader is mostly subsurface based and not diffuse based. So let's increase the SSS weight to a very high number like 0 0.7, 0 0.8 or even 0 0.9 and sometimes even 1. You do not necessarily need a base contribution but here 0.8 is enough probably and we just need a bit of base color contribution to preserve some facial details. Let's use this skin to preset as well to get us started. And this has proper radius values for human skin. To make the SSS rays not go beneath the surface of the skin that much, let's decrease the overall scale to about 075 you can check out the SSS lesson if you have any questions. And I'm gonna change the SSS type to random walk version two. And now let's connect the head color texture to the subsurface color as well. And this looks realistic. The next step is to add the normal mapping. So add an image node and load this head normal.jpg. Connect it to a normal map node and connect the normal map node to the normal input of the standard surface shader. To make the details more pronounced, I can increase the normal strength. Let's try something like 1.5 for now, and this should be enough. And now we have the specular and coat reflections to deal with. Let's set the specular weight back to 1. Specular color can remain at uh, white as we learned before. As skin is mostly water-based, we can set the IR to around 1.33. For the specular roughness, load this image that is called head gloss, set its color space to utility raw. And if you take a look at the texture, we need to invert it because the lips, for example, are having this white color, which results in a very rough reflections. And we want those areas to be very sharp. So add a complement node after the texture. And to be able to control and adjust the overall sharpness and roughness of the skin, let's add a ramp float node after the complement node. And connect it to the specular roughness. It gives us a very wet face or sharp reflections. It could work for certain cases, but let's go for a drier skin. So let's select the first point that controls the darker values of the texture and set it to around 0.6 to get a brighter texture and therefore uh, get a rougher specular reflection. It seems to be too dry, but we'll be adding the coat layer on top of it, which will be making it a bit sharper. So let's add coating. I'm going to set the weight to around 0 0.5, 0 0.4, IOR to 1.33, color can stay at white. And for the coat roughness, as we want it to be obviously sharper than the specular reflections, I'll be using a darker version of the node that is connected to the specular roughness. So add a color correct node, connect the RAM float node as its input. 
and let's set the color correct node as the beauty shader. Simply decrease the exposure value to negative 0.6, which makes the texture darker and therefore it will give us a sharper coat compared to the specular roughness and connect it to the coat roughness. And this is our final skin shader. Now let's open up the HDRI shader and try some of the other HDRIs to see if the shader holds up. Now let's try this first HDRI image and connect it to the beauty port. Okay, it looks nice. Let's try this second HDRI image. Um, this look realistic as well. The third one is an outdoor HDRI. Uh, this looks nice too. Probably we can decrease the SSS scale here a bit. Let's try the fourth HDRI as well. Okay, very cool. So in this video, we'll learn how to create skin shader in Arnold 4 Cinema 4D. See you in the next one. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift, Octane and so on. See you in the next video.